Hello, Betania. Hello, me. How are you? Hi. <clears throat> I'm fine. And you? How was your day? Uh, it's so horrible. Actually, I'm little. I'm little six. Um, I don't know. I feel um so bad because I have a headache. Headache? No. How do you say dolor de cabeza? Headache. Ah, okay. Oh, I see now. But you take something? Yes, I have a pill. So actually I drink too. Okay, you have to drink a lot of water and yes. take something <laughs> because sometimes this is going to help you a lot. Bring a lot of water. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello, Claudia, Andrea, how are you? Hi, teacher, fine, thank you. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Okay, let's see, just wait for just a couple of you. I need to ask you something. Um, I will say this in Spanish. ¿En qué eh, porcentaje de la plataforma van? Tengo una pregunta, esa duda tengo ahorita. Yo voy por el 86%. Okay. 86 and you Andrea? Uh, 73. Okay, very good. And Claudia? Finish. Just finish? Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, solo recuerden que para el domingo tenían que llegar al 75%. Pues si tienen más y terminan antes, pues muchísimo que mejor. Ahí están libres ustedes. Okay, y usted el siguiente módulo. Fíjese que no estoy segura. <ríe> en este caso, pues, no, no sé. Porque no me ha dicho nada. Pues, como esto termina el otro jueves, si no me equivoco. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, no sé cómo. Y usted ya han estado de aquí. O sea, desde que... Por... ¿Cómo? Eh, en mi primer módulo me hicieron un examen para ver en qué, en qué estaba. Pero como yo quería... O sea, yo sé que tengo intermedio, ¿verdad? pero yo quería antes porque hay como temitas que no tengo así como que bien claros. Por ejemplo, oh, okay. eso del bis, el da, del dos y el no sé qué, sí me costaba, pero hoy que lo estuve viendo, ya lo entendí mucho mejor. Ok. And now this is going to be the topic for today. <ríe> Ese va a ser el <ríe> tema para ahora. Así que creo que le va a quedar mucho más claro. Ojalá que sí. <ríe> Ok, vamos. Yes. Que no, no me había fijado que tenía como las flechitas. Sin mentirle, me tocó hacerlo como tres veces y creo que fue lo más claro. <risa> yes. Hasta eh... el último entendí que, que, que era lo que significaban las dichosas flechitas. Y... <risa> <risa> sí, muchas veces pasamos desapercibidos, muchas cosas y nos equivocamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Los detalles. Sí. Pero ahí aprende, ahí se aprende. Yes, it's true. Ok, veamos. I don't know who is here. No sé por qué me da eh, admitir. Tengo que darles a admitir a ustedes. No sé por qué me está pasando eso. De que se borró el link anterior. Les tengo que dar a admitir. No entran de una vez. Bien raro, no sé qué pasa. Vaya. Ok, so let's start right now. Because we will have to start the class. And the topic for today's class is the demonstrative pronouns. Which is some. Okay. Uh, okay, so help me out reading this, please, Claudia. Okay. What is a demonstrative pronoun? A demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun used to point to specific people or things. For example, imagine there was a chair right next to you and a chair across the room from you. When talking about the chair near to you, you will 
This is a chair. <clears throat> when talking about the chair far away from you, you would point to it and say, that is a chair. In this sentence, the word this and that are the most certain pronoun. Okay, thank you. As you can see here, what is a demonstrative pronoun is used to point to a specific people or things. Uh, we have one example here that there was a chair not right next to you, can be here, and chair across from your room. So we have, for example, there. And when talking about the chair near to you, so we have here, you will say this is a share, this. And when talking about the share far away, you have to say that is a share. And these sentences, the words this and that are demonstrative pronouns. Okay, so let's see mm -hmm. more. Um, ex ex I'm sorry, explanation about this topic. So Betania, can you read this for me, please? Hello. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I couldn't I couldn't put the mic microphone. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, demonstrative pronouns can be used to refer to either people, animals, or objects. For example, people. This is this is my friend. This is this is my friend. Plants, animals. That's that looks like a poison, poisonous, poison. mm -hmm. poisonous snake. Uh, objects. The car is in the front are worth more than those in the back. A demonstrative pronoun can be used as either a subject or an object. Subject, I think I need new shoes. These are pretty old objects. What is that? Okay, thank you. As you can see, uh, demonstrative pronouns can refer to people, animals, or objects. We have example for each of them. People, this is my friend Lance. Animal that looks like a poisonous snake. And the objects, the cars in the front are worth more than those in the back. Remember, um, demonstrative pronouns can be used as a, either a subject or an object. Um, if I ask you, let's see, Claudia, tell me what is a subject? Can you listen to me, Claudia? Hello? Okay. Uh, hi, Anna. Hello. <clears throat> okay, who can answer this for me? What is the subject? Okay. If you don't know, I will say this to you. The subject is who makes the action, okay? And the object, who receives the action. That's it, okay? So the subject, I think I need new shoes. These are pretty old. So you're talking about your shoes. And the object, what is that? So we are referring to something else, okay? Okay. Any question about this? No, yes, no. <laughs> okay, let's continue with this. We have this example. Um, let's see, Andrea, can you read this for me, please? Okay, this near, this is an apple, that far, this is an apple. No, perdón, that is an apple. Mm -hmm. This near, these are apples, those are, those are apples. Okay, 
So you can see the example. Thank you, Andrea. This is something that you have near, but it's singular. It's just for one. And the same for that. That is something that you have far away, but it's just one. So it's still singular. Um, let's see the next one. This, you're talking about something that is near by and well, actually it's plural, right? There are more than one. The same for those is something that is far away from you, but are plural. Let's see uh, these examples here. Axel, can you read this for me, please? This of the destrum, this the demonstrative pronouns, singular demonstrative pronoun, that word, word this and that are singular demonstrative pronouns. They are used to reference to a single person or thing. Or thing. Mm -hmm. Word this is used to refer to thing, to thing close by. And that, and that is used to refer to see far away. Okay, so you see as you see the first example. Give me just a moment. Okay. Yes, you, uh, we saw the first example. This. This and that are both singular, right? It's referring just a one, just for one, can be person, thing, animal, object, whatever, fruit, yeah, but it's just one, okay? And, okay, we saw the example there. Any question with this? Yes, no? No. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes? Maybe after. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sorry, Betania. No. Okay, tell me, Axel. Yes? What is the structure of sentences? Okay, now um, we will see some examples later, okay? Vamos a ver unos ejemplos después, okay? Um, let's see. <clears throat> Ana, can you read this for me, please? There are demonstrative pronouns. The words these and those and plural demons, demonstrative pronouns. They are used to refer to more than one person or thing. This is used to refer to nearby things and thus is used to refer to faraway objects. Okay. Uh, as we can see in the example here in the pictures, you see uh, there are a lot of apples there in the back, right? Uh, it's referring from more than one. This is near, those is far. Okay, so we have some examples of demonstrative pronouns. Let's look at the examples on how we use demonstrative pronoun in sentences. These are the examples, Axel, in sentences. Okay, so let me, can you read this for me, please, Claudia? Okay. Mm -hmm. Example of demonstrative pronoun. Let's look at example of how we use demonstrative pronoun in sentence. This is a really good word. I cannot believe she said that we are going to need books that are a lot bigger than this. The restaurant here are a lot newer than those across town. Okay, very good. So you see the first example, this is a really good fruit. So it's talking about the fruit, probably something that she or he has in nearby, close to that, to, to this person. And it's just for one, right? The second example, 
I can believe she say that. Something about that they are talking about like a comment, um, something that they talked before or whatever, right? And the third example, we're going to need boxes that are a lot bigger than this. So they are talking about probably a boxes that they have near or next to this person and they need um, a lot bigger than the ones that they have. And the last examples, the restaurant here are, are a lot newer than those across town. And this refers to probably they have a restaurant near and they have another one that are across town, right? Can we show some, any, any question about this, Axel? No, it's clear. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we are going to see more examples when it's correct and when it's incorrect to use it. Rafael, can you read this for me, please? Demonstrative pronouns must follow the, the same rules as nouns do. This means that they can function as, as a subject or object. The word this and that use a singular verb and these and those use a plural verb. Cor correct, that is an expensive car. Incorrect, that are an expensive car. Correct, those look delicious. Incorrect, those looks delicious. Okay, thank you, Rafael. As you can see the first example, um, we are going to use um, as a singular, but tell me, um, let's see if you recognize this. Then where is the mistake in the incorrect? Andrea, what is the incorrect part in the second sentence? Um, uh, can you repeat one more time? R. R, right? Why is incorrect? Tell me. Because that it's uh, <laughs> it's plural. It's singular. Ah, perdón, perdón. It's singular. Singular. Very okay. good. Entonces, okay. Ah, en español. <laughs> Entonces, no necesita el R. It's, okay, very good. Thank you so much, Andrea. As you can see in the first example, is correct. That is an expensive car. Uh, it's referring to just a one car, and the verb to be is correct. So it's is for um, singular, right? Let's see the second exercise, the second sentence, sorry. Those look delicious. Those looks delicious. In this part, uh, the verb, does not has to be in plural because you are using the plural as a demonstrative pronoun, right? In this part, does not apply. You don't have to uh, plural the verb in this part to refer to something. If you are talking about things, yes, those shoes, those jeans, yes, but in, if it's a verb, you don't have to add an S to make it plural because you already have the plural as a demonstrative pronoun. In this case, it will be those. And the other one is this, right? I don't know if you have any question. Uh, no? what, what is the correct? What, what is, is the, the correct form? And then the, the number three. Those look delicious. Looks. Incorrect. Looks is not correct. As it's you see, correct. it's incorrect. Okay. That's correct. it. Uh, correct is those look delicious. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are no. going to watch. I'm sorry? No, necesita llevarla. Eso. No, it's not necessary. 
No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are going to watch a video right now about this topic. So for you to have more um, ideas how you are going to use it. Okay, just give me one moment. One moment. Oh, sorry, no, let me, it's missing just one part, sorry. Just a moment. My God, what happened here? Sorry, the video will be later after this. Okay, let's continue. Um... Doris, can you read this for me, please? Yes, of course. Um, in general, it is important to make it clear that a demonstrative pronoun is referring to. For example, less, less clear, that is not a good idea. What isn't a good idea? More clear. You are you're going to tell Cindy her thing is thing is terrible. That is not a good idea. Telling Cindy that you don't like her singing is not a good idea. In every speech, we often Use the positive pronouns without saying what they refer to. This is possible because we can point to things with our hands, or we can use context or body languages to clarify what we are talking about. Very good. Thank you so much, Doris. Um, this is another way when we can use this demonstrative pronouns. Um, and let's see the example. Uh, that is not a good idea. And you can see the, the question, what is a good idea? You don't have uh, something that is clear what they are talking about in Spanish. Uh, if we say, um, Esa no es una buena idea. Que es, que no es una buena idea. So you have the question there. Uh, I don't know what they are talking about right now, right? So you see the next example. Uh, you are going to tell Cindy, Cindy, sorry, her singing is terrible. That is not a good idea. If you see the second example, you have a context why this person said that. So in Spanish, you are going to tell Cindy her singing is terrible. Eh, Le vas a decir a Cindy que su canto es terrible. Eso no es una buena idea. Okay, so you see the difference? The first, you are not talking about anything. That is not a good idea. So you have the question. I don't know what they are talking about. No sé qué están hablando, right? But the second one, you see that they have a context. Telling that Cindy, um, well, in this case, that you don't like her singing is not a good idea. I don't know if you understand this part. Entendieron esa parte? Yes or no? Yes? En el, en el primer ejemplo, teacher. Uh -huh. En el primer ejemplo, este, that is not a good idea. Ahí este, se refiere, le, le dice que eso no es una buena idea. Uh -huh. en, y después, eh, what, what is a good idea? Ahí Ay. le dice que no, es, que no es una buena idea. Uh -huh. 
O sea, se queda como en el aire, ¿verdad? No sé qué están hablando. ¿Qué no, no sabe de lo que está hablando. Exactamente. So you have uh -huh. to uh, give a context or explanation why you said that. Tienen que dar como un contexto o, o algo para que esa persona entienda por qué dijo eso. Sí. Si se fija el segundo ejemplo, uh, you have everything clear because you, uh, they are talking about sin. They are talking about específicamente de una persona. Exactly. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, let's see the the other way. In this one, the most common that we use every day, and when we use demonstrative pronouns without saying what they refer to. Uh, this is possible because we can point to things with our hands or we can use context or body language to clarify what we are talking about. Uh, for example, um, we can say or point to things with our hands. Si estamos refiriéndonos a algo, podemos usar nuestras manos, eh, señalar, usar eh, nuestro lenguaje corporal para darnos a entender qué es lo que estamos hablando. En este caso, if I said, uh, this is my shirt, so oh. I'm touching my shirt, so I'm talking about my shirt. You, you know that I'm, talk, I'm talking about my shirt. Está claro de que estoy hablando de mi, de mi camisa. Let's see more examples. Okay, so this is the same, right? Uh, can you read this for me, please? Um, Josué, Rivas, please. Okay, teacher. In some uh, in instance, there may only be one person or object in a room. And so further classification is not needed. For example, you can say, this is my new shirt while pointing to it with your fingers. A listener can look at you and understand what you mean without needing any more description or instructions. Okay, thank you so much, Jose. As I mentioned before, El ejemplo que les estaba dando, right? Um, we don't need a clarification or say more information if we are um, expressing or saying that in this case, um, the example that I made, right? Uh, this is my new shirt. So you know that I'm talking about my shirt. That's it. You don't need more explanation, more descriptions, what you are talking about. Do you understand this? Yes or no? Okay, sir. Yes? Eh, eh, la palabra narración while significa mientras. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay, no worries. Okay, so now, yes, now we are going to watch the video and for you to understand a little bit more. One moment. GoEnglish.tv Okay, um, tell me if you listen or I need to share. No, let me just one moment. Okay. 
now I'm sure. Okay. Go English. Go English. TV. Do you... Yes? Escuchan? Or no? Yes. 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 Demonstrative pronouns. This. That. These. Those. Examples. This computer is new. That computer is old. This computer is old. That computer is new. This dog is small. That dog is big. This dog is big. That dog is small. These dogs are big. Those dogs are small. This person is very happy. That person is very angry. Okay. Uh, so now... Teacher. Yes? O sea que, mm, mm, en pocas palabras, bueno, en, en lo que me pierdo un poquito es en la pronunciación, pero mm, this, eh, this es como eh, cerca, algo que tengo cerca. Ok. Y, yes. Lejos, que tengo un poco más de distancia. Y, y that es uh, un poco más cerca, digamos. No. Ok, let's see. Uh, this is something that you have near to you, near from okay. you, algo que está cerca. Cerca. ¿no? And that okay. is something that you have far away from you, algo que está lejos de usted, but it's singular. Es singular. Sí. And this um it's something that you have near but it's but it's plural right and those are something that you have far away from you and it's plural it's plural it's como que está diciendo estos y aquellos algo así okay yeah. okay. okay um i can show you the pronunciation just for you to remember probably you may be confused if you don't have any pronunciation for some words, don't um, give me, I'm going to show you how you can use this. You have to use the, you can use the Google Translate for you to listen. How do you say this word? For example, let me share this right now. Okay. You see here, I'm going to play here when I have to listen. This. You see? This. And for plural, this. 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 Singular. This. Plural. Okay? 
that's the difference. If you don't know what is the pronunciation of some words, uh, do this. It's going to help you a lot. Les va a ayudar bastante. Eh, si no saben la pronunciación de alguna palabra, usen el Google Translate, el traductor de Google, y ahí pues obviamente van a escuchar cómo es que se pronuncia la palabra. Ok. Um, you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, so let's see the exercise here. Where is this? Okay. One moment, please. Okay. There are some mistakes here. Well, yes, uh, one mistake in the game that I'm going to play with you right now. Hay un pequeño error y vamos a ver si lo reconocen. Okay, let's start. Okay. Um, is A, B, C, or D? Look at the hand. Miren cómo está la manita. A, B, C, or D. What is the answer? Uh, uh, which one? Uh, that. B. That. Remember, it's far away from you. Está yes. lejos, right? Mm -hmm. Our gloves. So it's this, that, this, this or those. Okay. Letter C. Letter C, right? Están cerca, está cerca señalando. Okay. Uh, this, that, this, or those? This. 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 Letter C, this. Letter C, right? Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. This is a big mistake. These are not socks. What is that? ¿Qué es esto? This is a hat, right? Es un sombrero, no son socks are calcetines, right? Ese es el error que les decía. Okay, so it are socks. So this, right? Yeah. Letter A. Oh. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no problem, <teacher>. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's letter A, B, C, or D. Hey. hey. This address is a card. Excellent. These are socks. Okay, Ox. so letter A, B, C, or D. D. Dogs. D. Okay. okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Is A, B, C, or D? Letter A. Letter A. A. Estoy señalándolo muy cerca, remember. A, B, C, or D? C. Letter C. Yes. A, B, C, or D? E. D. X. Mm -hmm. A, B, C, or D? Letter? D. D. Mm. Uh. A, B, C, or D? D. D. D or B? B. B. 
Okay. And the last one is A, B, C, or D. C. C. Okay, very good. Okay. So now you are going to practice with an exercise right now. I will send you the link here. One moment, please. In specific teacher, yes, in specific, um, this, uh, this, this is. Is near in that is far. Correct. Yes. And, and this and this is is near. It those is far. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't know if you see the link. Open the link, uh, and you are going to work in Paris. Pueden ver el link. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now you are going to work in first. Okay. So I will give you five minutes. Work with your partner, please. Go your partner, please. Yo no, no puedo ver, teacher, no. No lo... Okay. No, ¿a, qué, ¿A qué lo mando al grupo? Eh, no, aquí en el chat de Zoom. Eh, ya lo mandé para que se una con un compañero, para que trabaje. No sé si le aparece ahí que se una a otra sala.
Did you finish? Yes, we have 87%. <laughs> 87, and what was the mistake? And number one and three, because we, we, pull, we, we select this and was that. <laughs> oh, I see now. Uh -huh. Okay. We have, a, we have a little confusion. Oh, okay. With the, <laughs> with the word there and here. Here. But there okay. is, is far away, right? Yes, it's like there. Uh -huh. So and here is here that you have. I think we, we, we doesn't read. <laughs> okay. But now you know, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good job. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to do the last exercise and well, we are going to do it together. Vamos a hacerlo juntos. Let's see. One moment, please. Okay, so now we're going to um do this right now using this or this so let's see uh tell me the answer of sentence uh, number one sorry claudia is this my dream it's singular or plural Singular. Singular, okay. Yes, very good. Betania, number two, please. Is this part is on plural? Okay, very good. Now let's see Josue, number three, please. Um, is this an interesting mission? Is this uh, plural? Uh, per, sorry, uh, singular. Singular, yes, singular. Okay, is this an interesting museum? Excellent. Now, Doris, number four, please. This, this, what is the correct pronunciation for plural? This. Plural, yes, this. Mm -hmm. These are new bikes. New yes. bikes. Okay, very good. Now, number five, Andrea, please. This is my house, singular. Singular, okay. Axel, number six, please. This is a hill, singular. Excellent. Rafael, number seven, please. But uh, you have to use this or this. Solo eso va a ocupar. Okay. Is, is uh, this our donkey? Is singular or plural? Plural. Okay, very good. Now let's do the number eight, Josué Rivas, please. Correct teacher or incorrect? No, yes, it's correct. Uh, the, those are plural. So this, okay. uh -huh. Josué. Okay. Number eight. Yes, please. Uh, what is this? Uh, singular. Singular, okay. And number nine, um, Ana, please. Did you drum uh, this singular? Singular, okay, yes, very good. Now, as uh, last example, last exercise, sorry, uh, you are going to work in pairs and you are going to uh, do a similar conversation as this one, just one, okay? Um, help me out reading this, please. Josue, you will be um, the man in conversation one. And Andrea will be 
uh, the woman. The woman, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, you start. Yes, please. Is it your book? Yes, that is my book. And is this your pencil? No, that is not my pencil. Who pencil is it? I am not sure. Okay, thank you. Very good. So conversation two, Axel will be the man and Doris will be the woman. Okay. I like these jeans. I like those too. Do you like this chair? No, but I like that chair. The blue one. Not the green one. Mm, I don't like that color. Really? I like it. Excellent. Okay, very good. Now you're going to do a similar conversation in pairs. And give me just a moment. Um, let's work right now, okay? You just have around four minutes. I will give you just the last four minutes for you to do it. And then we will come back and I'm going to ask to some of you. Um, let's work right now, okay? Go and do some example, similar example to this one. Okay, go. Go with your partners, please. Go.
I never see the conversation, teacher. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, teacher. Okay, the thing is that I didn't share the this. Permíteme, ya te voy a ayudar. But you just have to ask a, a similar one. I don't know if you didn't or no. No. All right. Okay, no worries. I will send this to your uh, to the WhatsApp chat for you to, to practice as well, right? When you want to ask for something. Okay. Um, okay, so let's see. I'll give me just one moment. Solo les voy a hacer rapidito algo. No sé si ya están todos aquí, pero igual. Eh, don't forget to work in the platform. Eh, no olviden trabajar en la plataforma. Para este domingo eh, se requiere un 75%, ¿ok? Y para las que llaman muy adelante, pues perfecto. Pues siguen así. Recuerden que ese es un beneficio y pues hay que aprovecharlo, ¿no? Todos se les da esa oportunidad. Así que... Uh, we will see you on Monday, ¿ok? Bueno, mis, mira, Have una preguntita. Yes, dígame. Este, ahí medio estaba leyendo que los que habíamos llegado al 75 nos iban a dar los formularios. Pero eso sería hasta el lunes, ¿verdad? Probablemente sí. Si gusta, eh, puede escribirle directamente a Gabriela, porque ella es la que sabe. La muchacha uh, que está ahí. Ok. Para que pues les pueda ayudar también. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Ok. So, see you on Monday. Have see a you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you.